Yeah, obviously um, the whole world really focuses on, on, on this weekend uh, here in Hong Kong and you know everyone is here, uh, there's a lot of familiar faces and they're all the biggest names um, from our industry so to be able to win one of the races uh, on that day in front of all those people, uh, you know it's always very rewarding, they're very hard to win and you know I've been lucky enough to be able to um, have, a, have a good day there a few times now. I want to talk about Dominic and his win in 2013. Yeah, obviously it was quite unexpected by all. Um, you know, his best form had been over 2,500 metres, but he was racing against some of the, the best uh, mile and a half horses at that time. Um, you know, I rode in quiet. Uh, Red Cadeau had been caught wide and I knew he would be strong, he wouldn't be dropping off. Uh, he'd just come from running the Melbourne Cup, so I started to track him up uh, from about the seven or 800 and you know I could see that the two favoured runners were caught on the inside and you know one by one I just made sure that they would, were going to be held where they were and um, had to go back into the ruck whilst I was able to come out and make a sweeping run. And, pinch a break on them um, and I was able to do that and by the time they got out it was too late. Um, I'd sailed for home and uh, put the race in the bag. You know he's probably not quite in in the ilk of some of the, the competitors that are, are coming out of good form races in races like the Ark and things like that but you know when you're on your home track you do have some type of advantage you don't have to travel and you can just be fine-tuned and, and really set for it and John Moore's um, shown over the years that when he targets certain races, uh, he has them peaking on the day. And there's no doubt my horse will be in as good a form as he can get him to be. And then hopefully uh, the trips go our way. And if they do, uh, we're in there with some chance.